I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die really within a couple of months, a couple of years. Because I was, I was really sick. Um, and I'm glad that I can take care of myself to not, not be back in that place. Um, that's probably the worst I've ever felt in my life. If I was infected through sex, it was because of um, lack of knowledge um, about STDs, HIV, and AIDS, and other infections that you could receive from unprotected sex. I believe I was infected um, because I thought I was invincible. I, I, I thought that this couldn't happen to me. And I think a lot of that attitude is going on today, especially with uh, teenagers, that it's just not going to happen to them. It's part of the American culture to think that there's a pill for everything. And there is no pill that's going to cure HIV. And so, um, you know, you go out there and you engage in behaviors that put you at risk, and then you pay for it for the rest of your life. In recent years, there have been important new developments in what we know about HIV infection and AIDS. In particular, there are new treatments that have greatly improved the health of many people infected with HIV. There have also been new tests that make it easier for people to get tested for HIV. But some things have not changed. HIV can still infect anybody who engages in certain kinds of risky behaviors. And even though we're better able to treat HIV infection, we still cannot cure it. It's a problem that hasn't gone away. I'm Jim Mundy. In this program, we'll look at the most recent information we have about HIV infection and AIDS. We'll look at what we know has changed, and also those things that haven't changed. And finally, we'll look at how you can avoid being infected, and what steps you can take if you want to find out whether or not you already are infected.